Dear learners, welcome to this new episode. And in this episode, we'll be learning about some speaking gambits. And gambits are very much supportive and helpful and very much inevitable to speak English fluently. Sometimes we get stuck having no vocabularies in different situation while speaking English, especially in public. And sometimes we get stuck with grammatical uh, problems and different other troubles. In those cases, instead of making sounds like uh, mm, or uh, uh, we just get stuck with such different sounds. These gambits can help you to avoid those sounds and make your speaking more fluent and more lazyable. And gambits are used in our everyday conversation. So let's start today's lesson. So we'll be learning the gambits topic-wise. For different topics, we'll have different gambits. Okay? So the first one is interactive listening. So in interactive listening, while you are listening to others, you should make some responses. So some sounds or some words like, aha, uh -huh, yes, not, that means uh, moving the head uh, for uh, to get to show agreement or disagreement that is not or you can ask really so while the speaker says he speaks something to you you should respond with these words right exactly from from some facial expressions you know so isn't it okay isn't it so after that, we have interrupting. Sometimes, while speaking, we are interrupted by some other persons. We may be interrupted because sometimes it may be required to interrupt in some other conversation for a more important conver uh, conversation or words. So, you see here, while interrupting, how you can interrupt? Um, could I ask a question? Um, could I ask a question? Okay, so with very flexibly and with very polite approach, could I ask a question? Or like this, sorry for interrupting, but sorry for interrupting, but I have this to say. Okay, sorry for interrupting. Or we can also say, uh, pardon me, but uh, I need to say something. You see here in the brackets? Okay. Uh, pardon me, but I need to say something. That means, while we are going to interrupt some people uh, who are in conversation, we need to interrupt them with these polite approaches, with these uh, few good sentences or speaking gambits. Then we have refusing interruptions. So how to refuse someone's interruptions? Someone is interrupting our conversation and we have to refuse them. How we can do that? So if anyone interrupts, then we can say, please let me finish. Can I just finish my point? Not a single word. It's a bit colloquial. It's a bit colloquial, it's not a formal approach, not a single word, it's not a formal approach, okay? It's quite informal. So, the, but the first two sentences, please let me finish, or can I just finish my point, these are formal or semi-formal, but not a single word, it is colloquial. So, it can be used only uh, in, among friends and it's, a, it's a, among friends in any informal situation. Then resuming after being interrupted. So once uh, the conversation is interrupted, 
after that the conversation begins again with these words or sentences or speaking gambits like as i was saying uh as i was saying uh as i was saying so to get back to what i was saying to get back to what i was saying to get back to what i was saying let's see where was i let's see where was i so after being interrupted we can resume the conversation with these uh sentences or speaking gambits then asking for repetitions someone has said something but we haven't understood his or her words in that case we can ask for the repetitions but how that are shown here say what say what excuse me i beg pardon i beg pardon okay excuse me say what okay so someone has said something uh, i did not get my get his point and i can say say what but it's a bit informal so i beg pardon it is it is a very formal uh, approach i beg pardon that means i want to uh, hear his words again i beg pardon okay so would you mind repeating that would you mind repeating that and then could you please say that again could you please say that again so these are asking for repetitions uh and in the in this case asking for repetitions these are the gambits we can use then clarifying your own speech so perhaps i have said something and i need to clarify my speech again i have said something and i need to clarify my speech again for example what i mean to say is that means what i have said something to people and i found myself is not clear that my words i i thought that my words are unclear in that case i can clear my words saying these sentences like what i meant to say is after that what i am trying to say is what i am trying to say is what i am trying to say is in this way and then there is a very good one let me put it another way someone has not understood my words then i can say this line let me put it another way so let me put it another way that means uh, let me uh, clear it in a different way okay let me uh, may uh, let me uh, make it clear in a different way so let me put it another way giving opinions how to give opinions and there are some conversation starters like it seems to me that it seems to me that so how does it seem you should uh, say that it seems to me that then bring up another point bring up another point well in my opinion well in my opinion then you will say your opinion okay as far as i am concerned as far as i am concerned then you will say for what you are concerned then i'd also like to point out that i'd also like to point out that that means you, you want to give your opinions then there is expressing agreement if you agree with someone's statements then you can say these words like that's a good point i could not agree more i couldn't agree more okay that's my feeling exactly so sometimes we also use such phrases then we have expressing partial agreement partial agreement means not fully agreed i agree with someone 
but not fully. I agree partially. In, the, in that case, I can use these three sentences like, by and large, I would accept your views, but by and large, I would accept your views, but so there is a but here. Okay, there is something in between. So um, I cannot be agreed with fully. I cannot be agreed fully, but I can agree partially. In that case, I can use by and large, I would accept your views, but then I have uh, the second one. I agreed with you on the whole, but it could also be said. What it could also be said, you will say after this uh, clause. Okay, I agreed with you on the whole, but it could also be said. I agree in principle, but I agree in principle, but so there is a but still there is a but. Okay, so polite disagreement. So while we need to disagree with a polite approach, in that case we can use. I'm afraid I have to disagree with you. I'm afraid it's an expression, okay? I'm afraid I have to disagree with you. So it's polite disagreement. Then we have I'm not totally convinced by your argument. I am not totally convinced by your argument. This is polite disagreement. This is the type of polite disagreement. I'm not totally convinced by your argument. Okay? Then the final one. Yes, that may be true, but... Uh, okay? And, and then what is the confusion? We need to state that after this line. That yes, that may be true, but... Okay? Then we have conversation closers. How we can close the conversations? How we can bid farewell? How we can... Uh, close our conversation with somebody like I better get going well I gotta go I gotta go this is a bit informal approach or semi-formal well it was good talking to you well it was good talking to you so and after that we have it was pleasure meeting you it was pleasure meeting you so long, okay, so long, this can be, the, these uh, sentences and words or phrases can be the conversation closers. So, that's all for speaking gambits and uh, we'll be talking about more items in the next episodes. So, till then, so long.